where brothers unite to glorify God, there the Lord will give blessing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. This morning's Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Peter Derry. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who called St. Bruno to serve you in solitude, Grant through his intercession that amid the changes of this world, we may constantly look to you alone. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, You heard of my former way of life in Judaism, how I persecuted the church of God beyond measure and tried to destroy it, and progressed in Judaism beyond many of my contemporaries among my race, since I was even more a zealot for my ancestral traditions. But when he who from my mother's womb had set me apart and called me through his grace was pleased to reveal his son to me so that I might proclaim him to the Gentiles, I did not immediately consult flesh and blood, nor did I go up to Jerusalem to those who were apostles before me. Rather, I went into Arabia and then returned to Damascus. Then, after three years, I went up to Jerusalem to confer with Cephas and remained with him for 15 days. But I did not see any other of the apostles, only James, the brother of the Lord. As to what I am writing to you, behold, before God I am not lying. Then I went into the regions of Syria and Cilicia, and I was unknown personally to the churches of Judea that are in Christ. They only kept hearing that the one who once was persecuting us is now preaching the faith he once tried to destroy. So they glorified God because of me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. O Lord, you have probed me and you know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. My journeys and my rest you scrutinize. With all my ways you are familiar. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Truly you have formed my inmost being. You knit me in my mother's womb. I give you thanks that I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. My soul also you knew full well, nor was my frame unknown to you, when I was made in secret, when I was fashioned in the depths of the earth. Guide me, O Lord, along the everlasting way. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered a village where a woman whose name was Martha welcomed him. She had a sister named Mary who sat beside the Lord at his feet, listening to him speak. Martha, burdened with much serving, came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to do the serving? Tell her to help me. The Lord said to her in reply, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, and it will not be taken from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, the church celebrates the memorial of St. Bruno, the founder of a religious order known as the Carthusians, these group of men who lived a very austere life who really entered into a very contemplative way of life. St. Bruno from the 11th century, they made a recent film about him, and it's called Into the Great Silence. 
and it truly is a movie about the Into the Great Silence. For me, the first, it's about the first two minutes, this black screen just lingers on the TV. So much so that I thought the TV was broken. I wasn't sure what was happening. It was just a black screen blank. And it really draws you into the fact that the, what these men did, what St. Bruno founded, really was to draw people into a great silence. It's so counter to what a movie we think is supposed to be, or even in our own reality, what life should be. But these men, St. Bruno and all the Carthusians, even today, still live that very austere and contemplative life of which all of us are called to live in some sort of capacity. Perhaps we won't enter into a great silence today, but silence is still our friend, still our companion, that helps us to truly settle, to amidst the changing of the world, to recognize that which does not change, to recognize where peace may always be found, because Christ is always heard in the silence. And in that silence, our prayer is made known, and we're able to encounter Christ. And so today, perhaps let's not enter into the great silence, but enter into some silence. This silence that the busyness of the world tries to eradicate, but this silence that we're able to at least enjoy here at Mass. And so may we find those seconds or moments or minutes to simply find that time to rest with the Lord, not entering into that great silence, but entering into some silence. Bringing our prayers and petitions to God, our Heavenly Father, we ask Him to hear and answer us as we pray. Let us pray for the church, that she may always proclaim the gospel throughout the entire world. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for all those who are in religious orders or have taken religious vows, that in the time of silence they may pray for the salvation of all the world in the entire church. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for all those who are discerning vocations to the priesthood, religious life, or the married life, that hearing the voice of Christ, they may persevere in fulfilling their vocation. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for all those who are sick and suffering, that this day, united to the cross of Christ, they may receive his consolation. Let us pray to the Lord. And let us pray for all their faithful departed, in a particular way for Peter Derry, for whom this Mass is offered, that he and all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, may rest in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Good and gracious Father, help us to hear your voice in the quiet moments you give us throughout our lives. Hear and answer us as we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And Lord, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings made for the salvation of your people, so that through the intercession of blessed Bruno, we may flee the enticements of sin and draw near to the company of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Bruno, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. 
Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of Behold the Lamb of God, 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Those who keep God's word with a good and perfect heart patiently bring forth fruit. The body of Christ. 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 Amen. The body of Christ. 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 Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Let us pray. Grant our request, we pray, O Lord our God, that defended by the protection of blessed Bruno, we may live by this sacrament of your wisdom in serenity and moderation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.